This is the Mondo Coaches interview. I'm Dean Linke, along with the only head coach of the University of South Carolina men's soccer team, Mark Burson. Mark, delighted to be with you. First off, South Carolina Clemson, always a great matchup. Great way to kick off the Fox Soccer Package by the NSCAA. Well, it's a great rivalry. You know, two good teams year in and year out, and wonderful venues. Uh, you know, the thing here tonight, I think uh, people around the country are going to see what great fans we have at the University of South Carolina, the community of Columbia, and the state of South Carolina. And uh, it's a great atmosphere. It's, a ch it's something that players, after they've been gone, look back and they go, wow, man, that was, that was something special. So we're, we're glad to have it tonight and gl glad to have it on television. Speaking of wow, 33 years ago you started the soccer program here. You're still here. Unbelievable run. Two Final Fours. Of course, you made it to the championship game in 1993. Talk about that experience. Well, you know, it's been a great experience, and it's something that uh, has been a, a my life's work, I guess. And, uh, you know, so many players and so many coaches have contributed to this through the years. And, you know, this program belongs to the University of South Carolina and our fans here and they've been such a huge part of the growth of this program so it's a great opportunity for our players you know to to have a chance to give back to the community and bring great teams in here and have a great uh, opportunity to play coach talk about some of the people that have inspired your coaching style well i think you know all coaches kind of beg borrow and steal from everybody and um, obviously, you know, uh, Anson Dorrance, uh, my roommate from college, uh, you know, we, we trade a lot of thoughts from time to time. And uh, also, you know, some of the coaches that I've had a chance to be around when I was at the Citadel, uh, guys like Bobby Ross, Frank Beamer, Frank uh, uh, um, Ralph Friedgen in football, you know, here are guys like Eddie Fogler, uh, Jim Carlin, the guy that hired me and brought me here in 1978. And, uh, you know, it's, it's an opportunity. Coach Spurrier, you know, I mean, what a, what a, his intensity and, the, and his love for the game. I think from every coach you have a chance to draw a lot of different things. And, um, and then you sort of amalgamate them into what, what you as a coach, what fits for you. And I think that's one of the joys of coaching is that you're always learning. You're always picking up things along the way, and it makes everything new every year. So many great memories, but a lot more to come. But I'm going to ask you in 33 years, pick your number one best memory. Boy, there's been some great ones. Uh, you know, I got to say one of the really great memories was actually up at Furman when we dedicated Furman Stadium and Pelé was in the stands and it was an absolutely beautiful e afternoon. And there was, uh, it was a tie game. Furman had a corner down at our end with about 15 seconds left and the ball goes down in and amongst everybody's feet and it's one of those things where you're going oh my gosh they're going to stick one in and win it and all of a sudden it pops out and here comes Josh Wolf and Josh races up the field and the clock is ticking down 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 he gets to the top of the 18 and gets fouled brought down and it's a penalty the referee, however, doesn't signal a penalty. He just calls a free kick right outside with no time left. So Furman puts every player, a few of the students from the stands, everybody in the wall. Clint Mathis steps up and hits it over the wall and into the upper 90 to win the game on the last kick of the game in front of a huge crowd to dedicate the stadium. That was an unbelievable moment. And one of the things in soccer and all sports is that big players make big plays. And uh, that's one of the real memorable moments uh, where a big player stepped up and made a big play. Indeed, Clint Mathis, Josh Wolf, Brad Guzana, all, so many great players. Finally, Coach, obviously we're here because of the NSCAA. Talk a little bit about what they've meant to you, particularly as a coach. Well, the NSCAA is the coaches' organization for soccer, as we know. But the unique thing there is it's such a model in all sports, not only nationally but worldwide. The coaches associations in other countries don't come close to having the membership, the programming, and the things that the NSCA delivers to our coaches. And it's long been the key focal point for college coaches. And we're really, really pleased with all the services that the college coaching community enjoys from the NSCAA. And obviously the programming, uh, having the television games is wonderful, but all the things that the NSCAA does to help promote the college game in every way is just huge for our sport. And we, we can't say enough about how much they've done to help develop the game through the years. Could not be said better than the godfather, the founder of the South Carolina men's soccer team, Coach Mark Burson. 
The coaches' interviews are brought to you by Mondo. Mondo, manufacturer of the Mondo Turf artificial turf system, and the patented Echo Fill Infill is now the official turf company of the NSCAA. In addition, Mondo is an official sponsor of the NSCAA's annual convention and its Coach of the Year program. With its long history of offering unparalleled sports flooring and turf solutions, Mondo is proud to provide the NSCAA with additional support to fulfill its important mission of coaching education. For more information, visit MondoWorldwide.com.